Hello YouTube, this is Moot, and this is the first video of our Worm Online slash Worm Unlimited tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to go through the graphical user interface and give a brief overview of uh, what you're looking at when you log into Worm. First off, let's focus our attention on this top menu bar right here. This top menu bar is going to be your, your kind of quick keys in order to open different parts of um, the graphical user interface. For example, uh, F2 is a hotkey. The hotkey is assigned, but you can open it here. It gives you your skills and your characteristics and everything that will level up as you level up. Um, F3, or pushing this, will open your inventory, your stats, how long you've been in the game, how much sleep bonus you have. I don't have any sleep bonus. Um, time, what time is it, what missions need to happen, this is over here, and your character screen. Now the character screen, inventory, and skills are kind of the most important than what I focus on uh, when playing the game. Let's move on to the inventory. Inventory, we have no drop items in addition to new items that were added recently as newbie characters. A backpack, which you can store things in that will fit into it. And the things that don't fit into it, say the shield, will not fit in your backpack. Um, the sword won't fit in your backpack. But other things, everything that will fit into your backpack, you can go ahead and drop that. Kind of clean up your inventory space. Or, additionally, you can go ahead and equip your backpack into your backpack. Um, uh, this is just your inventory. This is where everything that you gather will go into and, you, and how to transport things. The character screen here um, okay, uh, tells you what you have equipped and where your damage is. So if I was damaged, it would indicate here on my paper doll. I can also check out what I look like, which doesn't look anything like me, but that's okay. Some of the things that you can see that you can equip, um, well, some of the things that you can equip are your cape and your right and left shoulders, which will be pauldrons. Those are not in the game. Max are... Uh, recently added into the game uh, and that would go into the face slot so let's go ahead and equip our short sword just click and drag over and our shield now these are starter items and really can't kill anything with it so don't go and take on a troll when you see one just because you have a sword and shield equipped in addition I'm going to equip my backpack and if I wanted to open my backpack when it when it's in my character or my paper doll I can right click and open or I can come down here to this uh, different shortcut key and I can open it that way. And I like to go ahead and uh, put my flint and steel in there so that I don't ever lose it or drop it on accident. I'm going to equip my toolbar, my tool belt, uh, which gives me my hot keys. So let's say I wanted the hot key for my pickaxe and my shovel. I just drag and drop it over there. And now I could push one and two and I can go ahead and highlight. Um, what item I want to use, I can activate it. And we can talk about that in the upcoming videos about how to activate items and why that's important. You have a fight options over here. This tells you what kind of uh, stance you fight in, aggressive, defensive, or normal. Uh, and these give different bonuses. Aggressive gives better bonus to damage, less to pairing. Defense is more chance to block with pairing. And then normal kind of equals out both those and can give you a CR bonus. Range weapons, if you have a bow equipped, automatically fire arrows. And that will be explained in a different video. Compass, self-explanatory. The red part of the arrow points to north. And if you move, you lose the compass. But if you wait, it tells you how long it takes for the compass to realign. The higher quality compass or the, cast, the spells cast on that will decrease that time. This is going to be your health bar down here. Green is how much stamina you have. Red is how much damage you've taken. As you take damage, I have no damage. The red part will fill this top green part and your stamina will be decreased. In addition, on the left side, you have your water bar. My water is at 35%. It's low. We're going to have to get water and we'll get that in a later video. And then you have your nutrition slash food. Now food is at 75%. But my, my nutrition is low at 50%. Dark orange nutrition is zero. Bright green nutrition is 100%. And that affects how much skill gain you have. 
uh, target menu I don't have anything target let's see if I can actually target I can't target myself and I don't have any creatures to target here um, but if I was going to target it would show up in this screen and I can right click on it and I can do actions uh, this part right here tells you what spells you have I have newbie spells casted right now all newbies get that it just you can read the spells up if you want on the wormpedia and then here is kind of my hotkeys so if it this is the actions instead of right clicking and performing an action like forage they went ahead and made hotkeys for it and this kind of helped people who have um, any sort of disability uh, makes it easier for them to left click instead of right click and then move the mouse more skills popped up you can see my foraging increase because I did forage and I picked up a blue mushroom and if I want to botanize it won't let me botanize because there's nothing else um, going on down you can open up a map here's the map of Zanandu um, you can we talked about auto fighting we'll talk about auto fighting later open your backpack um, and here's the missions bar. The missions is really interesting. It's a mini game, in game mini game, um, that affects Valerie, which is the moon that orbits Worm or the planet. And it's all the gods and the deities fighting over uh, picking up these tokens or these celestial items and gathering them and bringing them back to their homes. And if your god wins, you get a bonus. We'll cover that in a later episode. So. This is kind of the basic introduction. The events menu tells you what's going on. So like if I right click and examine something, it will tell me what I see, a very old fir tree. Or here, this looks like it's, you know, flowers, patch of grass. Uh, there are flowers there that you can harvest later when you get higher quality or higher skills. Your skills bar will tell you how, how your skills are progressing, and then your local and your chat bar. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, but this is just a basic overview. Thanks for watching. The next episode, we're going to talk about uh, lay, flattening out the area, cutting trees, and planting our first house. Thanks for watching.